The 36th edition of the Quranic Recitation Competition brings the Sultan of Sokoto and other Muslim faithful across the 36 states and the FCT to Bochi State. It's been nine days of the contest and it has come to a close. The Sultan extols the initiative and calls for prayers for peace in the country. He, however, wants government to look into the challenges of rising cost of living in the country. Well, that's one on government at all levels, state and federal, to bring out methods, ways and means of reducing the cost of living in this country. The cost is high, cost of foodstuff is high and is going up and up. So government should do and must do something to have this very serious challenge. He also has a word for politicians ahead of 2023. And this is here for elections or preparation for elections 2022 today, next 2023. The politicians will be up in the animal game. Please play politics with the fear of Almighty Allah, knowing that he is the only one who gives power to whom he wants at the time he wants and he'll take it away from you when he wants, at the time he wants, without asking you. Governor Bala Muhammad appreciates the concern of the Sultan. He therefore asks leaders and followers to be mindful of their actions. On our part, as leaders, we must lead with the fear of Allah and by example. The Sultan has said it, as politicians, we should not overstretch our discretion. We should not be excessive. We should not be greedy. We should not be selfish. We should know that there is a day for accountability, the day of judgment. We should not only fear EFCC and ICPC, we should fear Allah. The winners of the competition, Babogoni from Borno State in the male category and Howlet Ishak from Zamfara State in the female category, get three million naira prize each, while the governor awards them free scholarships up to the tertiary institution, in addition to donating 25 million naira to participants and judges. Hajira Aliyu, Channels Television News.